And who wants to live forever? Well, the sentiment might not be hypothetical in the near future. As medical professionals, technology analysts, and futurists say, new advancements in longevity, rejuvenation, and cutting-edge therapeutics mean that death itself may not be one of life's great certainties anymore. That's going to be a major topic at the DLD Innovation Summit in Tel Aviv in just a couple of weeks. And to preview the topic of immortality, we are joined by the summit's main speaker on the issue, Jose Cordero, who says the new tech being pioneered today will make death optional in the very near future. Jose, thanks for coming on. This sounds more like fantasy or science fiction than reality. How is that supposed to work? Uh, well, many, well, many things sound like science fiction until they happen. Going to uh, the space, even airplanes were impossible a few centuries ago. But anyway, uh, now we know that uh, aging is reversible. You can take an old cell or an old animal and rejuvenate them. So now many scientists in different countries are doing many experiments to see which are the best ways to rejuvenate cells, organs, and complete organisms before going into human clinical trials. But Jose, one of the biggest gates that we've seen on moving forward in that direction is still the brain. That's the only cellular object that scientists have not yet found a way to reverse aging on. And it seems to be a near certainty that after 100, 120 years maximum, the brain more or less decays to nothing. Well, we can actually keep the cells, the neurons in the brain also younger. That is the objective, so that they stay healthy and they can live in live indefinitely, like all other uh, parts of the body that we can keep uh, on a stable condition for a long time. In fact, there are immortal cells and there are immortal small organisms. And scientists are discovering how these immortal organisms stay alive and stay young and healthy. That doesn't mean that they are truly immortal, because if you kill them, they die but they do not age, which is the important thing, to stay young with healthy cells in the brain. So how practical is it to see in the near future? And what do you mean by the near future in this entirely? Well, we are very close. I think we are only two decades away from uh, having these technologies used by most humans everywhere. Uh, because as I mentioned, we are doing experiments with animals right now, especially with mice, because mice, have a life span of only two and a half years, maybe three years. But we now have uh, mice that live five years, which is the equivalent of 200 human years. And, you know, uh, we are going to have mouse, uh, a little mouse that will be like Methuselah, a mouse that will live a thousand human years equivalent, a thousand human years equivalent. This is possible, and we are going to see this very soon. When people understand that this is possible and this is working with animals, we will try it in humans. And very briefly, what would be the social ramifications for well, well, everything that we know and understand if death became optional? Well, it would be fantastic. What are the social ramifications if we cure cancer or if we cure Alzheimer's or if we cure um, heart attacks? You know, aging actually is the major disease. Aging is the mother of all diseases. If we stop aging, we stop uh, Alzheimer's, we stop most cancers, we stop uh, more heart trouble. So the problem is not these separate diseases. The main issue, the main problem is aging as a whole. And this is what scientists are working on. Aging is the mother of all diseases. Well, it's a very interesting it's hypothetical, and I certainly hope that we see breakthroughs in that in the future, because it sounds amazing. Thank you, Jose, for presenting science fiction or possibly science fact. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have, though, at least for now. But join us at the top of each hour for breaking news headlines from around the region and the world here on I-24 News.